Yo guys, this is my first attempt at a top list, so I decided to go for something interesting, yet easy and simple to do. So here's my top 10 facts about myself. Number 10, I'm a brony. Yes, I'm a brony. I enjoy the community. I enjoy the show. However, I don't interact with the community much anymore due to the creepypastas. Number 9, the hat you see on my persona is called a flat cap. Best hat ever invented. I wear it every day, and I wear it in real life. So yeah, enjoy. Number 8, that persona you see in some of my videos, pictures, banners on this channel is actually based on a real life picture of myself, so for all of you who want to go on a date with me, understand that I'm sodding creepy. Number 7, I don't enjoy music. Yes, I don't. I seek out music with my, you know, videos for sound design and to make it generally more interesting for you guys, however, personally, I don't listen to music for entertainment, but rather work. However, I do enjoy listening to reviews, whether it be AVGN, Cat Icarus, Nostalgia Critic, or even anyone on the That Guy with the Glasses, and I love in view, you know, just reviews and that kind of thing. I enjoy the format. Do not judge. <laughs> Number six, I literally, and I mean literally, have no life. I sit at home, watch YouTube videos all day, monitor comments, help out with my good friends, tasks with his list, and then make videos and sit on Netflix. I'm 16, so this is okay. I don't have a real life nor real life friends, so, you know, the only time I actually really leave my house is to go view the movies and actually go to the corner store to get some soda and general things from myself. I walk everywhere. So what? Number five. I make fun of myself all the time. Yes, I do. I say I'm a fat, cynical bastard who literally is everything their mother warns you you'll become if you sit on the internet too long. However, I don't care. I enjoy my life. I go through all the emotional trials and tribulations that all of you go through, except I make videos for peeps who are super cool and watch them on the net TM. Number four, I used to be a fanboy. Yes, I used to be a fanboy. Mr. Creepypasta, S-O-G, or SOG, and a little bit of Creeps McPusta, is what got me into this show. MCP inspired me with his older videos that even if your content is not the best, you keep on going. That even if the events in your life start getting in your way, keep on recording. And some ordinary gamers showed me that a good schedule and interaction with the fans is rewarding and helps you set up one of the best things found here on the internet, and that is community. That's why I have a Tumblr, Facebook, Skype, Twitter, so you guys can message me all the time, you know, and you do message me all the time with stories and ideas and general information that helps me keep this channel going. So, thank you, TM. Number three, Tats from Tats Time Videos is my BFF or best friend forever. Tats himself got me into content creation, rather it was teaching me how to use, to an extent, Sony Vegas and convinced me to get a Blue Yeti, helped me make money that I needed for this community like all of you did with your donations. And on top of all that, we also have the greatest and most funnest times in the world playing games like GTA 5 or Gmod Tower, which is some of the funnest times I actually can actually say I had in my entire life. So yes, Tats is my best friend. Moving on, number two. This channel came by by mistake. Yes, you heard me right. This channel was a mistake at first. The only reason why I made it was because of a creepypasta known as 1999. And at the time, no one else read it properly. They read it in parts or just not the full story. So I said, fuck it, and decided to put my minuscule skills because I didn't think MCP or Crease would ever read the story. And, well, a week after that, I got 66,000 views, and I did not even have a proper online profile picture. You guys got me thinking, hmm, people actually hear, like, enjoy hearing me spam my microphone with, you know, shitty shit. So, 60 creepypastas later, here we are, and you're listening to me, hopefully. Number one, I love art. Yes, I love it. I love it so sodding much. The talent that goes behind each and every picture, even less appealing ones I enjoy. Of course, I am not exactly pay any sort of monetary value to do it. But nonetheless, it creates entertainment for my eyes to see in a fraction of a second. I personally enjoy seeing pictures of my persona, which I, again, have commissioned a few of them for this channel. And I enjoy the few fan art that has sprouted up, even if it's small and minuscule. I even, you know, pay a channel artist to draw for me monthly. So... Yeah, even though she offered to do it for free, I pay her every month. And it's views like you guys that actually help me pay her money to keep this channel going. A link to her DA page will be in the description, and if it wasn't without the recurrent, 
this channel would be impossible. I hope you enjoyed my list and stay tuned for the top 30 creepy pastas which I plan on working here in the short near future. The editing was done by Blame It On George and some of the you know, people who helped create the content will be in the description, so check that out. Annotation. There. Bye.